<laughs> Look at all my friends. What's going on Twitchers, it's Jimmy Saphir and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. This mod is called the Butterfly Mania mod and today I'm going to be showing you guys what this mod adds into Minecraft and how this mod works because as you can see there's a bunch of butterflies flying around um, and there's a bunch that spawn within the world. So I sort of just built this little greenhouse here. I went to creative mode and spawned in a bunch of random butterflies but there's over 150 different species of butterflies and they all have different behaviors. Um, they're actually quite smart. They feed, they hide from the rain. They try and run away from you and uh, different things like that. Each one has sort of has a different property and uh, in this model I'll show you guys how to catch them, how to display them and also uh, how to uh, research them and put them into an encyclopedia. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to catch a butterfly is the butterfly net and to make the butterfly net you're going to take two sticks and three pieces of string and a pattern like this and that's going to give you a butterfly net. Now, if you want to go ahead and catch a butterfly, all you do is use your net and you right click on that butterfly and you're going to get a dead butterfly. So I actually caught the frozen butterfly um, and uh, as you guys can see here, I'm actually going to show you this real fast. But this is like all the different butterflies that are in the game. It's ridiculous. There's a ton of them. Um, so if you catch a butterfly with a net, um, just without a jar in your inventory or anything, you're going to get a dead butterfly. It's going to die. But that's not, that's not so bad because you can actually use these butterflies, these dead butterflies at least, to decorate your house. So that brings me to the next thing and we have um, these sort of uh, trophies or whatever. So um, there are just some examples right here. You can create these sort of um, butterfly trophies or they kind of looks like item frames or uh, picture frames. And um, you can make them out of any dead butterfly that you catch. So this one right here is a lava butterfly. And uh, basically what you do is you just use sticks and surround any butterfly uh, with that and you're going to get this um, this looking frame here. If you want a blue frame, you surround your butterfly. I happen to use a common brimstone and you surround it with lapis lazuli. Then over here, if you want an iron frame uh, for your trophy, uh, I used a green hair streak one and uh, you just surround it with iron like this. And um, basically, if you just hang these on the wall, um, a, uh, they look like this. It looks really, really cool. So it sort of looks like a butterfly within an item frame. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really neat. Uh, over here we have uh, five different types of jars and each jar uh, if you're holding it in your inventory when you catch a butterfly the butterfly will actually go inside that jar and it will re remain living. You can release it later or just hang on to it or whatever. But uh, there's five different types of jars. So the first type is just a normal jar. It's it's created using an iron ingot and three pieces of glass. Um, let's set back to daytime. Over here we have a golden jar and this is gold ingot with three pieces of glass. This one here is um, basically a lapis jar or blue jar and it's uh, in a pattern like this he used to make that. Over here we have an emerald one um, so it's got a little green top to it and right here is a diamond one. Now what's different between all of these is that um, the use of the jar actually lasts longer with diamond rather uh, lasts longer with diamond um, versus like just the normal jar. Um, so uh, if you have one of these guys in your inventory, I'll show you guys this. If you have one in your inventory and you catch a butterfly, let's see if we can catch one here. There we go, I caught this guy here. He went right into the jar and it here, says here I have an African map wing um, and if I want to re-release him, uh, I'm currently in creative mode so let's go to survival. If I release him like this, you'll see he comes out of the jar and he's still alive and can fly around. So that's pretty cool. Over here then, we have the encyclopedia, the magnifying glass, and the butterfly findings. So basically what this does is, uh, this allows you to sort of catalog and um, make a uh, book of where you have found all of the butterflies that you found. So uh, in order to create the butterfly encyclopedia, you need a book, an ink sack, and a feather, and you also need to catch um, a cabbage white, a coma, an atlas moth, a peacock, a green hair streak, and a common brimstone. Now, I believe all six of these butterflies are fairly common, um, but if you put them into a crafting recipe like this, you're gonna get the butterfly encyclopedia. Now, the butterfly encyclopedia, which if you right click on it, it will allow you to uh, essentially see um, all of the uh, information about butterflies that you have caught. So earlier I caught a green hair streak, and it says it's found in the forest, the forest hills, the plains, and the swampland. It's at light levels 8 to 15, uh, world height 1 to 80, 
The flying speed is normal, the escape rate is low, and the butterfly behavior is spawning blocks. A gravel, stone, tall grass. It feeds on red roses and dandelions, camps on tall grass and grass. So if you know the information then about this, um, this butterfly, then you'll know that uh, you know where to, to catch it again or something. Um, and I think, let's see here. Yeah, these all the butterfly information as well about each one of these butterflies, I believe is almost accurate in real life as well. And it looks here like looks like here they have a um, little biography about each one of those. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so over here, then you also have another item you can create in this mod. It's called the magnifying glass, and this is used or created using an iron ingot and glass. Uh, now, if you have this magnifying glass, um, you can I don't know. You can right click with it and just kind of like look at the butterflies. I don't know. <laughs> you can avast with the magnifying glass, which is really awesome. But it's actually also used in a crafting recipe, and this is the recipe for butterfly findings. So this uh, recipe, as far as I can tell, is used for any butterfly right here. Uh, I happen to use a common brimstone for this recipe just to show you guys. But what you do is you take an ink sack, a piece of paper, a magnifying glass, and some butterfly that you want to study. And basically out of that you get the butterfly findings. So I'm going to grab two of these. Um, let's go to game mode C. And I'm gonna grab a random butterfly like this something or other. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So this is crazy. Alright, so what we're gonna do is gonna craft this up like this. And this is going to give us a butterfly findings unopened. So uh, as you can see, it uses a little bit of the durability of the magnifying glass because you're using it to study that butterfly. If you go ahead and right click on this piece of uh, paper scraps here, it says paper scraps from Alcides Agathirsis something. If you were able to find, or you were able to find the uh, feeding attraction or feeding attraction and camping blocks on butterfly specimen number 155. So you can either close this and get out of it, or you can actually add this to your encyclopedia. If you add it to your encyclopedia, it goes into here and it shows up here as specimen number 155, and it sort of adds some details about that butterfly. So um, it doesn't say where it was found or whatever, but it feeds on a red rose, dandelion, and cocoa plant. Um, and it says not enough information on this butterfly yet, catch one to get it. So um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much the... Uh, the, uh, the Butterfly Mania mod, um, as you can see here in the beginning of this um, this encyclopedia, it has a sort of a key and a guide for you here to check, um, so you can see sort of what, uh, what types of butterflies are which. So like green is very common, yellow is common, orange uncommon, red is rare, uh, purple is epic, gray is extinct, and these ones, uh, this color here is event. Um, same with the escape rate, low, middle, high. And uh, no note, sneaking decreases escape rate by half. And the flying speed, green is slow, uh, yellow is normal, and red is fast. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, so that is the Butterfly Mania mod. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking out this mod for yourself and exploring it for yourself and just noticing the, uh, the butterfly's behavior. Um, because it's actually really, really awesome. They're, uh, they're really, really cool. And um, I don't know, I just really, really like this mod. It's very charming and awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. The download for this mod will be down in the description below as well. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.